There is also another strand to this conversation, that there is a certain you who are supporting Gina Mosquito, and Operado supports the current chairman of the party, Ofosu Ampofo. It's one of, the, one of the trends into the election, and that this could even indicate that a similar trend will follow up into the main election uh, this weekend. Well, let me explain something to you. And these things <laughs> it must be known. Mm -hmm. I have a relationship with the general secretary of the party. In fact, in the 2020 elections, I was the director of operations to the national campaign team, which was led by him. Okay. And we visited about 150 constituencies across the country in nine regions where Akan language is widely spoken. The national youth organizer has a relationship with the national uh, chairman. And he himself has publicly stated that he played a role in getting him to contest in 2008 on the ticket of a party and getting him the DC appointment. I don't think that these relationships should translate into support because I have openly declared for the general secretary for national chairman, G4C. Oh, you already yes, done so. I've done that on my, on my Facebook wall. <laughs> I did so after my elections. After this election? Yes. And so... I mean, this election just last weekend, right? Exactly. I see. So the point really... So it makes sense for people to say that he supported no, you. the point really is that if there was that support already, I mean, what is the, the substance of that declaration? Okay. You, you get it. Maybe he so supported you, so you are not, now also supporting no, not at all. Not openly. At, not at, in fact, in fact, if the, the general secretary was supporting me, mm -hmm. he should have been there to ensure that the right delegate list was used. But he's busy campaigning too. He was not there. But he's busy campaigning. But he's supporting me. In any case, he's if, not part of the election. Elections, no, if my elections, he's the general secretary of the party. I get you. He but commissioned, yeah, he the, commissioned committee, yes. the committee whose report the, the elections committee must use. Mm. And so if the election committee was at a point deviating from the official list, the general secretary had every right to call them to order. Let me, let but me, he I, didn't. The question I'm trying to ask you is, do you think the trend that happened in your election will happen in the national elections? No, 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 I don't think so. It has nothing to do with it. The national, those that vote in the youth elections, people may not know. They're going into this election, there was 100, uh, 1,089 persons that delegates, were, yeah. were, were delegates to the elections. Only a half, or not even half, will be voting in the main Congress. Because the one other youth reps, 275 of them, they will not vote. All the 10 presidents will not vote. Mm. Every region has uh, five representatives from 10. And that five, it must be two, uh, three 10 presidents, two women commissioners. And so it's only three, three, three per region. So out of the 34 10 institutions that voted from Ashanti region, only three will be participating in this Congress. Okay. And so it's 275 times two because the youth organizers and their deputies, they are the only people who are, who are going to vote. So just about 550 or let's say 600 out of the 1,089 are delegates to uh, that Congress. So it doesn't necessarily mean that a similar trend will follow. Exactly. Uh, unless we are able to determine which of the votes came to any of us. I.e., you are convinced a CDN will not lose the election. Oh, I know that General will win the elections. Why so? Well, he has served the party. He has remained very committed to the party. Even when the party came to power, he still stayed put at the headquarters and, and helped the party. And I think that going into this election, it will mainly be about the party people sacrificing one of our uh, you know, highly respected officers. <laughs> because the national chairman and the general secretary are contesting for one position. Yeah. One must go home. And the party must take that decision. That decision is for the party in terms of the delegates to make. And between the two, I will tell you that the party will not sacrifice general. You believe so? Yes, I believe so. And your main reason, your single most important reason is because of what? It's because of how committed 
he has served the party and how courageous he has led the party from the front. Thank you.